Look at this happening right there in front of your eyes. Caught on camera, a thief getting away with the pricey mountain bike, but he didn't get too far. Inside Edition was watching the whole time. They found out just how big the problem of bike thefts are right here in Southern California. Lisa Guerrero from Inside Edition is here to talk about this investigation. Mm -hmm. You didn't just investigate. You ran them you were down there. in my high heels. <laughs> right? Were you? Yes. Yes. Well, you know what? It was, I, this story is, is a great story to do because mm -hmm. it exposes a crime that's on the rise here mm -hmm. in Southern California, all over the country, really. This is our fourth investigation that we've done. But here, particularly, people are saving money, and they're also helping to save the environment by using bikes. Right. And now, more and more bikes are more and more expensive. The bike that we were able to borrow from Helen in cycles was 2500 bucks. So as you can probably figure out, bike thefts are on the rise because there are these beautiful bikes out mm -hmm. there that are available. And if you don't have your bike locked up with a U-lock, which we recommend, a lot of folks are, are locking them up with a cable lock, the old-fashioned cable lock, and those professional bike thieves will clip those very quickly. Yeah, we saw, what, mm -hmm. he had his jacket over it or something? Okay, now this is crazy. <laughs> we did a couple of these experiments. We did one day out at Venice at the boardwalk, and I, you know, I rode the bike over, locked it up with a cable lock, walked away, and then as soon as as nightfall hit, I mean, that bike was getting all kinds of attention. And these guys are pros. They walk, you know, once, twice past mm -hmm. the bike. They, they look around to see if anybody is watching them. They clip it and they run. Little did they know that we had our bike fitted with a hidden GPS system. Mm -hmm. So we were able to track the bike thieves. We did it once in, in Venice and once in North Hollywood. And I literally chased after them and we caught them in the act. Yeah, and you confronted the them. I confronted them. We have them, some yeah. video of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. I think he's down there. So this was underneath the metro. You just stole my bike. This is my bike, and you just stole this bike. Yes, you did. We have you on camera. We've been following you since the last metro station in North Hollywood. Sir, why did you take a bike that wasn't yours? I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition, and you just stole my bike. Sir, you're busted. <laughs> Unbelievable, Lisa, that he just, like, just, well, it, you know. He's, he's kind of a lot, but he knows what's coming, Oh, right? he knows he's in trouble. He did get arrested, but one of the funniest things was right away he asked me for a drink of water. I'm like, sir, you just stole my bike. You <laughs> rode four miles, and you're really asking me for water? No. <laughs> and someone very surprisingly, you were telling me there are actually bike chop shops that sure. uh, want these stolen bikes, This right? is part of the frustration for law enforcement is that when these bikes get ripped off, within minutes, they're taken to another location, and often they're sold for parts and in some areas that we've done this this story like in Portland recently the bike theft ring is connected to the meth ring so tweakers really? are stealing these bikes they're giving them to drug dealers the drug dealers are giving them a baggie of drugs and then they go off and get high and then steal the next bike meanwhile the drug dealers are chopping off the bikes and selling them and you were parts. saying it doesn't take long for these bikes to get stolen oh, right? Within, you put them out there within minutes within minutes um, it, it's just, it's surprising to me, but I guess it shouldn't be. There are bad guys everywhere that mm -hmm. are looking for an angle. Mm -hmm. And there are literally hundreds of bike thieves around that are looking for bikes that are locked up with, with a cable lock. And even in my neighborhood, I live in Playa Vista right now, you know, you think it's safe. People just like take their little cruiser. I'm just going to lean it up against the market while I run in for two minutes. Such a bad idea wow. because there are these guys everywhere looking for bikes. So what can we do besides using that? You Use lock. common sense. Yeah. You know, Buy a, a U-lock. They're the sturdiest type of lock. And also lock your bike, just the frame and a wheel, not just the frame. Right, because a lot of these wheels are removable. You can remove sure. a wheel to <laughs> Those put are it valuable in the trunk too. of your so car. Are the seats. They'll remove everything. Yeah. They'll remove everything. Uh, looks but like that airs story. today. Please watch. It's yeah. really action-packed. It looks like it, especially you running in the heels. Don't watch. <laughs> if you're my dad, don't watch. He gets very nervous. <laughs> Lisa, thanks. All right, watch Lisa's full report on Inside Edition coming up at 4.30 right here on KCAL 9. It's